Jackie Mazzucato here and this is my first day here. And today I'm going to do some sticky barbecue pork ribs. I'm going to do a little bit different. I'm going to, because I'm still loving this new toy, I'm going to do them in the pressure cooker, but you can also cook this recipe um, in the slow cooker. So many different ways that you can do this. Uh, everyone's got their own way of doing ribs, but let's see what they're like in a pressure cooker. Okay, so what I'm going to do first, I've got two tablespoons of brown sugar in there, teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of pepper. I've got two tablespoons of smoky paprika and one and a half of chilli powder. Now you can adjust the chilli and um, the, the ingredients in this to come up with your own version, but that's what I've got in that bowl there. And this is really just, I'm just going to mix it together now, but this is just to make my dry rub. Now what I've done here to prepare the ribs is I've just taken the membrane off the back. The best trick for doing that is to grab an old tea towel, obviously an old clean tea towel, and just pick up a corner of the membrane and with the tea towel you'll be able to grip the membrane and pull that one easily off. Otherwise it can be a bit tricky. And what I'm going to do, just before I get my potatoes ready, because I'm going to have baked potatoes and coleslaw, so look out for the other uh, recipe that I've added for the coleslaw. I'm just going to rub this across the top of my ribs and then I'll turn them over and I'll cover the other side as well. Ah, I can already smell these beautiful smells coming up off here. You know, some people add um, more chilli, some people add garlic powder as well to their rubs. Um, some people keep their rubs for their pork, a closely guarded secret. <laughs> but great one for Father's Day with Father's Day coming up. Uh, we've got some rubs and some other bits and pieces coming in a Father's Day pack, which we're very excited about. So maybe this is the recipe to do with that. So I'll just spread that one all across. Get those flavours across. We don't want to lose any of those wonderful flavours. Mm -hmm. So while that rubs on there, just soaking through and some of those flavours starting to enhance. I mean, sometimes I've done this the night before even. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to add to the bowl uh, my special sauce mix. And remember, you can play with this and, and, and add what you like to this and, and play with these flavours as well. But again, we've got the sweet and the sour and the salty. So I'm going to balance all of that out. So I'm going to add my one and a half cups of passata. Some people use tomato sauce. I prefer it with passata. In here, I've got two and a half tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. So in that goes. And that's going to give it that nice barbecue flavour. Okay, I've got a teaspoon of Keen's mustard powder, a teaspoon of salt, three and a half tablespoons of brown sugar, about a tablespoon and a half of fresh lemon squeezed, and to balance that, I'm going to put in a dessert spoonful of molasses. Look at that sticky molasses. And that's just going to give it that really nice, distinct uh, flavour as well. So stir all of that in the bottom of your pot. All right, and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add the ribs. But just so they get evenly cooked through, I'm going to make sure they get enough sauce on them, which is happening right now. And then I'm just going to stand them up in the middle, end on end in the, in the pressure cooker. Now I'm going to use the lamb shank setting, so that's uh, 80 for the pressure and 30 minutes. So it's relatively high pressure cooking and these will be beautiful. Okay, so I've popped my ribs in there, standing them up, covered in sauce. Uh, you can do the same thing in your slow cooker, be absolutely fine, but just make sure with the slow cooker you're turning every few hours. Probably need, you know, I would say two and a half to three hours on high and slightly longer on medium. Another great way to do it, but I'm not very patient today and I'm desperate to try them in the pressure cooker. So down goes our lid and we'll hit that start button and we'll let that one heat up and, and get going. Uh, so whilst we're waiting for that to cook and my potatoes to cook, I'm going to have a glass. So, oh, I really love this one. Cheers. Oh, the steam and the smells and the aromas coming out of here. 
I am so excited about opening this and seeing what these are like. And I'm expecting my meat to be really beautiful and moist. All that steam is coming off. And you can smell, um, certainly smell the, the tomato, but you can also smell all that molasses and sugar and um, the paprika and spices. So you're very much looking forward to trying this. Again, you could do this one in the slow cooker or you could do the rub, cook the ribs in the oven and then just towards the end of the cook, make up the sauce and baste the ribs in the sauce. Let's take a look at these ribs. Oh, wow. Look at these. Oh, they're absolutely full off the bone. Oh, look at that. So, got our beautiful coleslaw that we made earlier. We'll stick a knob of the butter on the top of the potato. You just can't have a baked potato without the butter, can you? And, oh, I'm so looking forward to this. Look, it just falls apart. Look at that. All that beautiful flavour. Now, if you wanted to brown them off, by all means, throw them in the oven and baste some of the sauce back on top. But let's have a taste. Oh. Oh my, oh wow. I might need a little bit more of this on my plate. Oh, that is so great. And then a little bit of the beautiful mm. coleslaw and look, a nice fluffy, fluffy potato. You know what I did whilst this was cooking? I cleaned up. Now, it might sound funny, but it's really, really nice for your meal to come out and just have one little pot to clean at the end of the day. Oh. Sorry, guys, got to go. Hmm. Bon appetito.